Hey guys, what is up? Call me Queen here, and today I'll be showing you uh, how to speed up Minecraft using the Optifog and Optimine uh, mod, I suppose that's what you would call it, for Minecraft. Uh, it actually is really useful, and I'll show you guys what it looks like in a little bit after we install it. So, first of all, we're going to back up Minecraft, and that is a backup I already have, don't worry about that. So to do this, you want to go down to the bottom left, type in percent, app data percent, and find your .minecraft folder, which should be probably the first one. Here it is. Open it up. Uh, it will probably won't look anything like it. Probably won't have these things on here, but it should look something like this. And uh, so basically, what we're going to do to back it up, we're going to do this. We're going to drag and. Uh, copy all these copy night cut don't screw it up and well I guess it wouldn't matter but you don't want to accidentally copy something else and then you would just get boned but anyway then you want to go down here create a new folder in your preferred location I choose the desktop and I'm gonna name it Minecraft backup you can name it whatever you want whenever it's easiest for you to remember and uh, to paste it in there, we just do Control V or right click paste. Um, don't do paste shortcut. Just do paste, and it'll copy all the items over. <coughs> Excuse me. It's like I have a frog in my throat, and it'll copy it over. It'll do its thing. Yes, come on. Thirty seconds left, really. Well, whatever. Um, yeah. So if you guys are ever wondering what this is, it's a way to get free money, but yet I don't have it hooked up to my freaking uh, PayPal yet, so uh, whatever. Yeah, if you guys want to me to do a video on that, I will. So uh, whatever. And now that we have it backed up, just clo go ahead and close it out. Keep it wherever you want. Remember it's there. And we're going to go back into our .minecraft folder delete everything so we know it's not a compatibility issue and we'll start from fresh it'll delete and we'll go ahead and click yes it will remove them to the recycling bin and so just minimize this because we're going to reuse it open up minecraft off your shortcut and if you don't have a shortcut well then you're probably just going to have to restore what you just deleted and make a shortcut I guess uh, I don't know what else to tell you It'll load up, hopefully, any day now. Oh, come on. Rawr, spam the mouse! Oh, gosh, it's probably going to open like 80 Minecrafts now. Anyway, so you want to go ahead and enter your information and log in. So, whoop, I should remember that, but I never do in any of my videos. And it should log you in. There we go. It should say downloading packages, as you can see. And it will download your packages. And you should start to see folders appear in there. And, uh. Yeah, retrieving the Minecraft.jar. Other things for Windows. If you're running a Mac, uh. It should say for Mac, I guess. I don't know. I don't have a Mac. Uh, Windows Ultimate, so. I don't know what to tell you about that. But anyway, so uh just gonna ahead and let it load up to the Mojong screen. And it will load up. We'll make sure we're on the proper version, even though it doesn't really matter what version you're on. Just get the new version for that the mod for the version you're currently on. As you can see I'm making this video during the 1.6.6 .6 update. So I'm gonna go ahead and close that out now. And uh open this up as you can see this is what you should have uh, I don't know if you don't have something like that but uh, you should so uh, we want to go into the bin folder you should see minecraft.jar jar yeah jar some kind of jar door no you should see minecraft.jar sorry open with some form of archiver I use WinRAR you can use 7-zip or uh, anything that shows archive doesn't really matter but uh, I use WinRAR it's pretty good Except I don't have the full version, so every time I open it, and uh, it'll give me this gay ass message. But anyway, uh, you'll see these things right here. 
first off I believe we need to delete the meta-inf folder it doesn't really do anything even if we're not supposed to and it's uh, good for other mods anyway so it doesn't really matter if you have that folder in there I don't know what's in there in the first place but uh, I'm sure there's some kind of BS purpose they're trying to tell us it's used for Anyway, you want to open up your mod, your RAR of Optimon and Optifog, and you will sure see these classes in here. You just want to highlight all of them. Uh, open up the Minecraft.jar, and do it where you can see both of them. You want to scroll down in the Minecraft.jar to where you're going to drag all these in by the class folders. I mean, class no, not the class folders. Do not put them anywhere up near here by the folders. Or they might end up in the folders, and you don't want that because then the mod won't work. You just want to drag these. Of course, it did that, but uh, you can just do this. I don't know if you can or not. Damn it, come on. All right. So, damn it, God, quit doing that. Aha, here it is. Anyway, so you want to drag all these in by next to the other class folders. Drop it in there. It'll uh, do its thing. As you can see, you just wanna, and now we're done. We can uh, close this out. You want to click? Oh yeah, nope. You want to click OK to that, and then now we're done. Go ahead and close this out. I'll open up Minecraft, and hopefully it'll actually load this time. Instead of be gay, it's ball sack. Okay, okay, come on. I'll be right back once I get this up. Okay, guys, got it back up, and uh, we're going to go ahead and log in. And it's going to log us in. We should get the Mojang screen. Or another one will pop up. Mojang. It's loading. And uh, lives in a pineapple under the sea. Apparently, he's SpongeBob. We're going to go ahead and create a random world just to so show you guys that it's working. Mm, let's see. Sand. Sure. We'll, we'll do that. Sand. And uh, it'll build a train. Freaking record with Camtasia. I need to start recording with Fraps and put these two together. Or whatever. Um, let's see. So we want to hit escape, correct? Yep, and then we'll go down to options, and we'll go to video settings. And as you can see, there's all these extra ones. Oh, uh, let's see, what's we'll a normal? We'll do, and we, you actually get something called VSync. I don't know what it is. You would have to look on the forum because uh, I don't really know. View bobbing off. I don't really like that. Um, I don't know what half this stuff is. I haven't really read the thing. But, uh, yeah, you can, yeah, it actually adds a brightness setting. And we can go detailed. Um, you can change these to fast. And you can change the animations off, which I don't really do, but, uh, oh well. And we can do fast. Off, off. And, uh, it'll run a whole lot faster. I don't actually want the brightness all the way up. Because you can see, like, way better in the dark and so click done and back to game and uh, well it's not going to be it's not going to be like not laggy for me when I'm recording but if I was using fraps it would be like really good right now and it would be working good for you guys so uh, I hope you guys enjoyed please okay quit telling me to freaking press goddamn E here I can get this message again I'm not even going to do it this time because last time I like totally screwed up my recording. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please comment, rate, subscribe. Uh, I put out more Minecraft tutorials. I'll probably put out another one today. I'm sorry I haven't made one in a couple of days. But uh, I've just been lazy and I didn't feel like doing anything. But uh, today I kind of felt like doing one. So uh, thanks. Peace.